Pete, you should have known when you said it in the press conference that you were going to deliver a good performance, and you did just that, mate. You, you lived up to what you said you were going to do, and, uh, you know, a 340 total time with a one side run, it must feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels really good. Um, I really wanted to do well. I really wanted to win. Um, you know, I knew I was getting in good shape for all the hours that I've done in training leading up to Hawaii. I knew that I was getting in good shape this time of year again. And, uh, you know, to be able to do something with that besides just the one race in Hawaii, um, fantastic opportunity for me. And uh, I'm really pleased that I felt good today and was able to make the most of this um you know, race that's just down the road for me. That's a huge race on a beautiful course, fast conditions, and put down a good time that, um, and finish strong feeling like uh, I've got something left and, you know, I don't necessarily need to do more work, but there's a couple more weeks to do a little bit more work. Yeah. How important was it to deliver this performance? I mean, you've spoken, you've been quite outspoken in the build-up to Conan this year. It must, must feel pretty good to be able to talk and talk and then walk and walk and, you know, beat some pretty handy opposition here with Blake Patel, Sam Appleton, Peter Robertson, three-time world champion, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I didn't just want to win. I did want to, you know, really dominate and um, have a good day. Uh, it was important, yeah, for my confidence to um, show that what I'm doing in training is working, that I'm working on my strength and that I can ride 90k flat out and and uh, still run well and um, you know and I, I did that and so it sort of shows that what I'm doing is working uh, as I said the other day that's what I wanted to wanted to do and um, yeah it feels really good to, to have a really fast fast split on a, on a good fast course get the most out of this week where I felt a little flat and haven't got enough, as much training done uh, but I've got a great race result out of it, a really good hit out and um, a lot of confidence and you know also just that little bit of uh, you know visualisation and mental preparation for the big one in four weeks time We've spoken a lot to the you know, director to you about, about where the, the, the improvements you're trying to make on the bike and were you surprised today that you were able to you know, average like 340 watts and a 201 split and change? Um, yeah, not really. No, I wasn't surprised. You know, it was all. It was more about hoping that I feel good on the day. I knew if I felt good on the day, that it would be up there. Um, you know, the wattage I was just. I've just gotten off what Clayton said, so you know, mine might have been lower than that if I'm a little more aero, being a little shorter. Um, but you know, yeah, good wattage, really good pace. Yeah, 201 is a, is a great split. But the course is fast. Um, but you know, we outsplit. You know, a lot of other pretty solid athletes, and uh, we rode well. And uh, it was, it was sort of, um, yeah, like I said, I, I just sat on the front for the last 40k, and uh, Clayton said he was just hanging on, and he was happy for me to sit on front. I was happy to be on the front, so it all worked out really well to, to have a guy like Clayton there um, to sort of benchmark off and say, uh, say, tell myself that look, you know, this wasn't just you were out there having a good one and everyone else wasn't. You know, Clayton, Clayton uh, was looking at his wattage and says we rode well, so I'll take it that we rode well. well. Clayton said that you were the one that was actually uh, forcing the pace and certainly the one that made the move when you when you were able to drop Mark Munro and Appleton. Yeah, um, I was I was really wanted to keep the pace up. I really wanted to not just sit in and just go around, you know. I wanted to get a good hit out. I wanted to be on the front. I wanted to test myself. Um, I didn't just want to win. I wanted to prove to myself and or just test myself. I wanted to see what I could do. And, you know, that wasn't going to happen by, you know, just watching the other guys and sitting off them and just thinking, oh, well, I can outrun them. So, you know, let's sit in. I wanted to you know, see, go as hard as I could on the bike. And um, so, yeah, I, I kept trying to make moves and then eventually we got away through the hilly section and um, it was just down to Clayton and I and then, yeah, then I sat on the front just holding the pace and, uh, you know, it was a, oh, I love riding on the front. You know, you head down, you don't have to worry who's in front. And, um, you know, I did that a bit in Kona last year and hope, hope I can do that again again. In uh, four weeks' time. So let's hope it's a uh, pretty good coming attractions, mate. Because, yeah, uh, a big performance in Kona is just what the uh, Australian Triathlon fans want, mate. So best, congratulations on today and best of luck in Kona in four weeks' time. Thank you very much. Cheers.